Uh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Oh, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Yeah, should be dry enough. I told you. Hurry up, I'm freezing. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. And it's just a staff, not a divining rod. Oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Aren't you forgetting something? Or are you planning to carry the water with your bare hands? Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! 
Don't mind him, dear. Boys must act tough if they want to get by. Is that so? Should be enough. I just need to break the ice. Uh, Shoo. Beautiful. No getting through there. <sighs> I can't carry it in my hands. No, it'll be proper water for my family. Just more woods down that way. <sighs> Houses and sheds. <laughs> Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. How far did you go into the forest? Far enough, but you could go farther, of course. It's a big forest, after all. And did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple. 
with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof? Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> So of course you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. Right. That's why we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, Coming. But it's not due. Have your waters broken you? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. <laughs> Children. Martha! Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. What about me? Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. Let me cover you. Right, what can I do to help? Stay with me. What else can I do? Just... Stay with me. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. Lady Isabella acted as midwife. You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch won't let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. 
and she took us to her own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. But why are you talking about that now? She's bleeding. I'm here with you. I know. It's not long now. Be ready. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I oh, know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. I am proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. Two of a kind, day. Eh? She's losing too much blood. I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral for me. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes! Agnes, wake up!
The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the Priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. come to Kingsbridge. Hello? Hmm. I'm sure there was someone moving behind a window. But most houses are empty. Lock it. Maybe the side entrance is open. When he opened the distant field, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth. The moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness. The pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well. 
but the Lord says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? Shh. For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. Philip. We told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John in the forest, Philip? Better than here, in our mother house, Kingsbridge, it seems. I wanted to use my New Year's visit to talk to Prior James about this. James did the best he could, Philip. If you had been here, you would know that. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... No, you're right, Philip. With a limp hand on the tiller, a ship is blown about at hazard and goes nowhere. James meant well. Uh, of course he did. Please, forgive me. Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Disturbing? How did Prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remigius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh, no. No. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him, and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. So what do you think it means? I don't know. There is no reason to punish us for asking. At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Brother Arnaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers. 
Always digging up the graves. My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. We should go to Shiring sometime. Heard they have a big titted harlot there. One that would even do you. What's that supposed to mean? I asked not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. Why would Prior James walk out onto the river at night? He was chased. Chased? By whom? The accuser. But why would the devil be chasing him? Better to not get involved in all this, hmm? Don't you have your own Priory cell to run? You really believe the devil killed the prior? Some of the brothers do, and I respect their beliefs. We may never know what happened, and that's that. Now let me get back to my work. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. The novice said he hid the keys in here. They're here. I have them. Hmm.
I'm happy to see you, little brother. It's good to see you too, Philip. Your hair is starting to get a bit grey. Yours isn't. But at least in this one case, I will be the one to boldly charge ahead of you. You've always been bold. You just don't admit it to yourself. <laughs> Francis, what are you doing here? King Henry is dead. I know. Word reached St. John shortly before I left. First the King, and now Prior James. King Henry's death caused quite a commotion in the world of politics. Dark times are coming. There will be war. Stop the suffering. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something? We will find him. One more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the knight. Everyone did, but I don't get beaten up. Saying prayers a hundred times isn't that bad of a punishment. Ask him. He should know. Why, why don't you? You look like you want to ask me something. You are Philip of Gwyneth? Uh, yes, uh, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? I already asked Brother Andrew. That doesn't count. He wouldn't answer. If you promise to lower your voices from now on. Oh, of course. We promise. Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. It must be a place. Cathedral. That's probably what the guest master was talking about. Each of us is God's temple in the way that he created us. And what, what if someone does something to God's temple? The scripture says, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. Even if he destroys his own temple of God? So for prior James, there's no salvation as well?
Prior James did not commit suicide. But no one saw him that night. No one knows. God knows. God knows what sent him running out onto the ice. They say the devil was chasing him. Didn't say his name. I have seen brave men run for many reasons. Never have I seen the devil. So we should not make room for him, neither here nor in our hearts. All right? Yes, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. Brothers, have you two heard about a knight visiting Kingsbridge? The Earl of Shiring was here, and some of his knights. And many other nobles at Christmas. It would have been a lone rider, a messenger. I, I don't think so. If someone had come to Kingsbridge, Brother Paul would have seen him. Uh, Brother Paul went back out to his toll hut. I see. Thank you. So, uh, again, we're all God's temple. All of us. Mm. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. Is this locked? No, no sign of the messenger. Because, because God created us in his image. That's why we can all pray to him. We don't need to go to church for that. No, we are the temple. But why a church then? Why cathedral? What do we have to ask ourselves is, can our Saint Adolphus still protect Kingsbridge in these dark times? He couldn't protect Prior James. Ever since that lightning struck the cathedral, he wasn't the same. 
When you take over my position as sacrist, you should implore the bishop to send us a new relic. By then, I'll be sub-prior. The new prior and I will support you in this. A new relic might also attract more pilgrims. Philip of Gwyneth, I wanted to talk to you. How dare you disturb Brother Remedius Requiem? I'm, I'm afraid the choir is waiting for me. Stay, brother. There's no reason you shouldn't hear what Philip has to say for himself. I was shocked by the prior's death. We all were. Now, I'm sure at St. John's you're a good prior, but here we adhere to the rules. Brother Andrew, have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? Aside from the ones that visited for Christmas? No. If there had been an official guest, I would know. And no one stayed at our guest house. You mentioned a new prior. The election will be held in a few days, when we all convene for the chapter meeting. Let us continue this conversation later. Of course. Uh, there's a lot of planning for me to do for the upcoming election. Why do we create temples if we are the temple? Isn't it almost arrogant to try and build a greater temple? Don't say that. Why not? We wouldn't be here if it weren't for the cathedral. It feeds us. We are people of God. Yet, we need to eat too. We come together here. The pilgrims don't... Philip! Brother Milius. Come! Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. You keep everything nice and tidy around here, Milius? It's not easy. This morning, one of my ladles broke. That's never a good sign. Everything is falling apart. Milliers, why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know. Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No. I don't remember any knights visiting us. Ah, wonderful. 
I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, and you'll keep warm. Who? Oh. Ouch! Careful, they're hot. Nice and warm, and I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. I, uh, I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. You are too trusting, Philip. Has there been a knight to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. I'm sorry for how I talked to you about the Priory earlier. It's just that... At St. John's, we worked hard to become self-sufficient. We have given so much to Kingsbridge, our mother house. And the priory here is in a horrible state. Don't you think I know that? Ah. We should be rich. The priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the sub more than once. Today I found something missing again. But I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I will think about it. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course.